Hello, it's Dana from Parenting in Real Life. I am a parenting coach as well as a anxiety coach and a teen coach. I uh, work a lot with ADHD and stress and anxiety for teens. So I have a question for you, which is, does your child have any of these symptoms? Agitation, rest, restlessness, unable to sit still, headaches, avoidance, tantrums, crying, refusing to go to school, any of these types of things. If so, you want to look at this carefully because what these could be is signs of anxiety. Um, anxiety comes at all ages, does not wait for you to become older. Um, and it tends to manifest itself as poor behavior. Um, and, and as you go, it gets more and more intense. It sort of builds on itself. So then you end up with punishment and yelling because you don't know how to handle it and they don't know how to handle it. Um, so it can be really difficult for all of you. So one of the things I would like to say is that it's really hard with anxiety to understand that that's what it is when they're young. Um, they don't say I'm anxious. They don't say something's bothering me. They say um, that, you know, they don't want to change places, that they're unhappy, that they don't feel well, that they are throwing a fit because they can't get their shoe on. Um, uh, when, you know, maybe they're not good at math, whatever it is. Um, it can look like your child is just cranky, um, cranky, hungry, tired, but they may not be. So if you start to see these signs, perhaps your, your daughter isn't good at math and she gets more and more frustrated and isn't doing the homework, or perhaps when Jim comes, she goes to the school nurse, um, or in the morning, they have a stomach ache, so they don't want to go to, don't want to go to school. They're sick. They feel a headache, you know, so, so real physical issues, but they're manifestations of this anxiety. And unfortunately, avoidance of anxiety is the worst thing to do because it just feeds itself, right? So they don't have the experience um, to learn that they can overcome it. And so they just keep adding new things each, you know, consistently. Um, so it can be really frustrating for both of you. Another thought is that um, anxiety and ADHD can look alike as well. And, and in fact, there's a big 33% overlap of the two. So um, you do want to take, take note of both of those, maybe talk to the school, um, see what you feel those issues are. Um, anxiety is not always tied to a frightening experience. So if your son is terrified of dogs, it does not mean he was bitten by a dog. Um, they can just be, just be scared. Um, the other thing that can happen as they get older is kids can tend to move towards obsessive compulsive disorder to cope with that anxiety. So maybe they wash their hands 20 times a day. Maybe they tap a door. Maybe they check to make sure the stove is off. Uh, maybe they're germ phobic and they don't want to touch meat or, um, or, or they're perfectionists, right? So they also want to make sure that they're doing well in school. And so they are really keen on making sure that that is happening. Um, so all of these things can be missed because you think they're going to outgrow it, right? They're tantrums, they're three, they're tantrums, they're six, they're seven, they're nine. Um, they don't want to go to school. They don't want to go to sleep in their own room by themselves. Again, signs of anxiety, maybe not a sleep issue at all. Maybe it's separation anxiety. Um, so this can all be exhausting for all of you. And I just want you to know that um, I can help with that if you want to reach out and have some help. Um, I also have articles on my website, parentinginreallife.org. Um, and I also just want to reassure you that there is help out there. Um, CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, is great um, for kids. And therapy is really good for parents to understand and learn how to adapt and how to raise their children in a way that works with their temperament as opposed to um, trying to teach them something that doesn't 
they don't learn that way, right? A lot of them are really active learners. Um, if they have ADHD, they may have processing memory issues, which may mean that they seem like they're not following your orders, orders, um, your requests, but that may be because they can't. Um, so all of this is really just to say, okay, this stuff is out there. And as a mom, you need to know about that and you need to pay attention to these little things because um, otherwise, you won't treat your child or a doctor won't treat your child and um, both therapy and medication can be hugely helpful. Um, so you want to come at it in different modalities. There's also some food and um, uh, supplements that are really good like fish oil, um, your omegas, things like that. So yeah. That's all. Just wanted to let you know what it is you should be looking for. And I wish you luck. And I hope that if you need anything, you will feel free to reach out. Parentinginreallife.org. And I'm Dana at parentinginreallife.org. Have a great Monday. Bye.